I definitely want to get to Andy, um, for sure. Uh, we just got we, we got to make sure everything is everything is. After days of indifference, Deontay Wilder finally provides a positive update on the Andy Ruiz Jr. fight. The Bronze Bomber insists the battle will happen as soon as possible with readiness on both sides. The winner of this much anticipated match would dispel the controversy in comparison between Wilder's strength and Andy Ruiz's speed, despite the disparity in size. So please join us as we update the most comprehensive information about the match. And before you jump into the video, remember, like, subscribe, tap that bell icon, just like that. That way you don't miss out on any updates from Boxing Insane. After many expectations from the whole boxing world, finally, the exciting match between Deontay Wilder and Andy Ruiz is coming up. A sanctioning body call for a fight between the number one and number two challengers back in November of 2022 as the final eliminator for a shot at Tyson Fury's title. And the fact that both men fall under the PBC stable should have made negotiations a whole lot easier. In the past, despite being ordered to face one another by the WBC, Deontay Wilder and Andy Ruiz Jr. have failed to come to terms to do so. And whilst Ruiz has been calling for the fight, any fight, it seems Wilder has been shopping around. The Bronze Bombers team kept coming up with the idea of other wars like the one with Francis Naganao. It was reported that Wilder is now fielding all sorts of different offers from promoters because the money for the Ruiz fight is not satisfactory at this stage. There was a lot of frustration between the fighter and the promotional company, and in this case, PBC. Wilder's teams apparently reached out to the powers that be in the Middle East to float the idea of a Francis Naganao fight, something that we know the heavyweight is open to. Therefore, Andy Ruiz also found another way for himself and called to fight with any heavyweight. Even Wilder's fight with Ruiz Jr. had already been cast into doubt once because after Ruiz had instead been ordered to fight IBF mandatory challenger Philip Hergovic for an alternative route at seeking a shot at the title. Fortunately, it's expected WBA challenger Daniel Dubois is first in line for a shot before any of the Hergovic fights to be arranged so no plans have been made. However, the Destroyer is still apprehensive about the possibility of the war he's long wanted. It'll come as a disappointment to fans who regard Wilder Ruiz as one of the most attractive matchups in the division, especially considering the belts are tied up for the foreseeable future in undisputed talks between Fury and Alexander Usyk. Thankfully, that disappointment didn't come as former WBC champ insisted he definitely wants to fight Andy Ruiz. Wilder has provided a long-awaited response and a positive update to the fight with Ruiz Jr., claiming he's trying to make it happen as quickly as possible. The Bronze Bomber appears to have decided now that Ruiz is indeed the one for him. He said he was actively working towards making it happen. The Bronze Bomber revealed also that the discussion is to make sure of everything, from pricing to the location to the date. 
There's a lot going on because they've got multiple locations they can have and different people are trying to bid. Deontay Wilder's trying to get the best person for the job on that, and they're waiting on a couple of people returning. In addition, the team of coaches and experts that discuss the contract terms and map out the strategy for the fight with Andy Ruiz. This is good news about a good match for boxing fans, with Anthony Joshua kicking off a comeback and Tyson Fury set to face Alexander Usyk in the undisputed championship bout. This Wilder Ruiz fight is one of the most attractive that the division can offer. So, what are the two boxes doing to prepare for this big fight? Well, Deontay Wilder and Andy Ruiz Jr. both are back in training and working towards something big. For Andy Ruiz, the former Mexican-born champion has impressive skill and a great pace. Andy Ruiz becomes a nightmare for tall fighters because he moves well, while other small people have a hard time getting close to their opponent. Ruiz can approach opponents and he's unafraid to strike and trade licks in a close combat condition. Therefore, facing a tall boxer like Wilder, although it can be a weakness, doesn't cause him any difficulty. Due to the advantage of speed, Ruiz always focuses on training to improve his boxing ability. The Destroyer posted a brief clip of himself showing off his trademark hand speed on the pads. For Deontay Wilder, Wilder seems to be having balance problems. He's been awkward and not the best technician, but he's a tough guy with a killer instinct. He doesn't get tired. He has a good jab, and that right hand is electrifying. He also possesses remarkable strength, and he can defeat anyone, including Ruiz. Wilder's trainer Malik Scott uploaded a series of videos showing himself working with the former champ in the gym. It's looking hopeful this bout will come to fruition with training clips of both men emerging in the last couple of days. However, we still cannot rule out the possibility of losing this war because Wilder's recently confirmed that while he's working with PBC, he's open to offers from anyone, meaning the Ruiz final eliminator could land in the lap of another promotional outfit. Fans worldwide would tune in to see how the quick counter punching and inside work of Ruiz stacks up against Wilder's incredible knockout power. And from the Alabama fighters comments, it seems many promoters and sites are just as interested. So what do you think about the fight between these two giants? The bronze bomber, Deontay Wilder, and the destroyer, Andy Ruiz. Can this match break the controversy about Wilder's punch power and Andy's speed? Who'll be the winner? If you know, leave your comments below and let us know. And don't forget, like, subscribe, tap that bell icon. You don't want to miss any videos from Boxing Insane.